Okay, so uh, today I'm gonna go over the traditional grip and uh, this is a video that I'm gonna post in order for you to get a better traditional grip. So this video is not targeted at the beginners, but those who have learned traditional grip, the basics, and want to get even better and faster and stronger and everything uh, with the traditional grip. So um, I'll make another video for beginners um, and I'll probably link it down below. Uh, but yeah, so this video is going to teach you how to get a better traditional grip before we're going to start to get into any like uh, practices or whatever with traditional grip i just want to point out that you have to implement this grip anywhere in your day whenever you can so i'm not kidding this is actually for real uh, when you're eating food for example and you have your knife or fork in your left hand uh hold it with traditional grip I'm not kidding, do this. Uh, cut your meat doing this, using your fingers, and maybe use your whole wrist to slice up something, go down, you know. Uh, and if you're in class or whatever, grab your pencil and hold it like this. Just squeeze that. Just You have to really, really get into that, you know, feel of traditional grip, the, just the grip, you know, just to hold it because you need to have this comfortable because... For me, when I pick up sticks, this is, it. the stick just falls like this in place. So that is really important. Implement traditional grip every time you can uh, during your day. Now, my next tip is this, and this goes for any rudiment whatsoever or practice. It is to get a practice pad and put on a movie and do just the, the basic strokes. And I'm gonna teach you the strokes next, but, um, and literally just sit there and just do the strokes because you need to get the feeling of it. You have to get your hands, your fingers, your wrist, everything uh, just comfortable with traditional grip. You have to implement that muscle memory, right? So please do that. Uh, that is going to help you a lot. The strokes that I'm gonna teach you next, these are the strokes that you're gonna use doing you watch that movie or just put on a metronome and practice. So there are mainly three strokes that you use with traditional grip and these are the strokes that you're gonna just sit and practice. So the first stroke is with your hand where you kind of use your whole arm. This is the arm stroke and you kind of rarely use it actually but uh, it's a good thing to practice for like five minutes. Just put up and down with your whole arm. Grab your whole arm and just strike that practice pad. Now the next stroke is the wrist stroke and it is basically just using the wrist. No fingers, no arm. You see that? There's no fingers involved. Uh, I'm just using my wrist. And this is like the doorknob twist that I kind of call it. And it, you have to really practice getting the wrist motion because it's the one that where you're gonna use it most often combined with finger grip. But yeah, you really need to learn how to use that. Now my next stroke is the fingers. And this is really where the training starts to begin because finger technique is maybe like you all know, the hardest part to get with any drum rudiment, uh, any technique whatsoever. It's the fingers that really matter. That's the real finesse. Now this thing is a one-handed roll, which I'm not gonna teach you in this video. That is a separate video. This is a buddy rich technique, uh, but but you can do a lot with your fingers like I, like I do, right? Uh, but really the part where you do everything is this. You push down with this finger right here. That is where you wanna push down. And with these two fingers here, you're gonna push the stick up. So up, down. So you kind of open your whole hand and then close it. I'm gonna put it in a slow motion. And that is pretty much what you wanna do. You wanna raise the stick up and then push down with this finger right here. So up, down, up, down, up, down. And when you've kind of learned that, 
uh, you kind of can do the one-handed roll, but uh, it's much harder than that. Um, but the thing that you really want to practice too, uh, w other than this that I'm sh doing right here, which is releasing and just just closing up. So up, kind of whip, whip the stick. Another thing to practice is just tapping, tapping with all of the, at least these, these three fingers. Uh, but the most important part is this finger, right? This is where the real tapping happens. You can do it with your thumb as well, but it just looks really stupid. And, and it is a really good whip for practicing wrist and fingers. And this is kind of the first part where you're gonna get your real speed up. Because as you can see, this gives pretty much good speed. When you've kind of learned that, and when you've done that for like 15 minutes straight, you want to start tapping with your fingers. So just put this finger up, start bouncing the stick like a basketball. That's it, you know? And then just start bouncing it. You know, this is all, all my pointy finger just tapping that stick. So you want to open up all fingers except for the finger that is tapping. And next up, you wanna practice this finger, which is gonna be a bit harder, but you're, you're pretty much gonna manage it. Uh, and when you kinda of got the basics of that, I really want you to start finessing, right? You wanna use, you wanna kind of go up with the stick and hit it from this angle right here because it's gonna be completely different. You're gonna get a whole other bounce. If you're bouncing it from up here, than down here, right? It's completely different. So uh, one thing to, that you kind of want to practice is going up with the stick, going down with the stick, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And you kind of want to practice that with uh, all the fingers. And that is pretty much the only tip that I can give you. And if you really, really want to learn traditional grip, well, make the switch, okay? Just say, I'm never gonna use match grip anymore. I'm just gonna use traditional grip. That's what I did, and it took me like, for me, I'm a fast learner, it took me two months to learn traditional grip fully, and the one-handed roll, it took me like, I don't know, six months, but I didn't train as uh, intensively for this technique. Um, I kind of practiced uh, when I had the time and, uh, you know, I was kind of fooling around with it. Uh, but yeah, it is the best tips that I can give you and consistency is key, okay? Uh, and it, like I've said in previous videos, this doesn't mean that you should always go slow because if you want to get fast, you have to play fast. So maybe once a week or something, go all in for it. Try to really get up that speed and... Uh, you know, this is, this is pretty much top speed with traditional grip. If you can reach this speed, you are well accomplished. You know, uh, that is a really good stroke. That is good strokes. This speed is only for uh, the really finesse players, okay? It's not for, it's not a beginner technique. It takes a really long time to learn that technique. And I haven't really mastered it yet, but you know, it's, it's kind of a hard technique. I will do a separate video on the one-handed roll, uh, and I will also do another video on traditional grip, but that is just for the beginners. Uh, so please be sure to subscribe and like this video and comment down below if you want to see other uh, tutorials and lessons. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.